recreational marijuana in Colorado continues to rise since the law was put into place on the 1st of January. 136 licenses have been given to stores in Colorado, with 16 more shops waiting for their licenses to be granted. On the first day, Colorado shop owners made an estimated $1 million in sales. The state expects to make $70 million in tax revenue this year, believing retail and wholesale will amount to $578 million. US dollars. The demand has been said to be much larger than expected, and this has caused long queues and major increases in prices. Recreational cannabis sold in the state is estimated to be double the cost of medical marijuana. Betty Aldworth, Deputy Director of the National Cannabis Industry Association, said, Given that several additional stores are opening each day and the novelty of being one of the first purchasers is ending, any statewide shortage, if it happens, is probably a few weeks away. Complications have been arising over credit and debit card rules. Visa and MasterCard are not allowing debit and credit card to be used to purchase marijuana. However, this has not stopped some Colorado shopkeepers from accepting card purchases. Both companies are following federal law, which prohibits the sale of marijuana. Visa said in a statement, given the federal government's position and recognizing this is an evolving legal matter with different standards applicable in different states, our local merchant acquirers are best suited to make any determination about potential illegality. Washington is following Colorado's footsteps as it has passed a similar law and will start selling recreational marijuana later this year. Medical marijuana is legal in 20 states in the US with New York set to become the 21st this year. Florida campaigners have been fighting to make headway with their goal of receiving as many as 1.1 million signatures before a February 1st deadline. Florida could become the 22nd state after New York if the petition is approved by 60% of voters in a November election. Ethan Nadelman, director of the New York-based Drug Alliance Project, said, It will be a breakthrough in the South, a breakthrough in one of the most populous states in the country, and a breakthrough in a bellwether state in American politics. Medical Marijuana Incorporated shares surged more than 20% last week, benefiting from the new law. Now, tourism is also expected to rise greatly in Colorado as a result. Despite the federal law which prohibits medical marijuana, it will be interesting to see if the sale of medical and recreational cannabis positively affects the U.S. economy. Now, we also have non-farm payrolls out this week, so let's see if there will be more positive data. Last month, Uruguay legalized the cultivation and sale of the drug. It has already received interest from foreign pharmaceutical companies. Well, that is it for right now, but viewers do stay tuned for more interesting economic updates. Goodbye for now.